Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got uh, this circle inscribed in a square as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the diagonal of this uh, square is 100 units and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region on the left hand side. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know that we are dealing with the square. That means all these sides are going to have the same length. Let me call this length lowercase a. And now let's focus on this shaded part, this triangle. And since we are dealing with the right triangle, therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Our longest leg, this is going to be, the diagonal is going to be c. This is our a, and this one I'm going to call b. So therefore, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, a square, b is also same as a. So it's going to be a square equal to c. In our case, is 100. So this is going to become 100 whole square. So we got on the left hand side 2a square equal to 100 whole square. Let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides. Now we can see this square and square root undo each other. This square of this a and this square root undo each other. So therefore we got a times square root of 2 equals to 100. Let's divide both sides by square root of 2 to isolate uh, a. So therefore our a value turns out to be 100 divided by square root of 2. Now let's go ahead and uh, rationalize this uh, denominator by multiplying uh, and dividing by square root of 2. So therefore our a is going to be on the top. This is going to be 100 times square root of 2 divided by square root of 2 times square root of 2 is just going to give us 2. So therefore if we reduce the right hand side our a value is going to be 50 times square root of 2 units. So this is our value of a. So therefore our these side lengths a turns out to be 50 times square root of 2. Likewise as you can see across the board. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula area equals to a square where our a value is 50 times square root of 2. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. a in our case is 50 times square root of 2 whole square and when we take the square of 50 that is going to be 2500 times this square and square root undo each other, we got simply times 2. So the area of uh, this uh, square is going to be 5000 square units. So thus the area of this square turns out to be 5000 square units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, circle now. And now let's focus on this line. This is the diameter of this circle and we can see that this length equals to this length a. So therefore this diameter is going to be 50 times square root of 2 as well. And we know that the diameter is twice the radius. Let me call this radius r and this is radius r as well. So this radius is simply going to, I'm going to divide this one by 2. So our radius simply turns out to be 25 times square root of 2. So therefore our radius r is going to be 25 times square root of 2. 
and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this circle and the area of a circle formula is pi r square where our radius r is 25 times square root of 2 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so, so we got pi times 25 times square root of 2 whole square and now we know that 25 square is 625 and this square and square root to undo each other so we got simply 2 so 625 times 2 is going to be 1250 so therefore the area of this uh, circle simply turns out to be 1250 pi square units so therefore the area of this circle turns out to be 1250 pi square units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this green shaded region and now we can see that we got four identical regions like this green one as you can see over here at the corner so therefore this green area is going to be the one fourth of all these areas so therefore the area of this green shaded region is going to be simply the difference of areas area of square minus the area of circle divided by 4 and now we know that the area of the square is 5000 and the area of the circle is 1250 pi so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks I can write 5000 minus 1250 pi all over 4 and that is going to be the area of this uh, green shaded region but we know that our pi value is approximately equal to 3.14 so let's go ahead and plug it in so that is going to be 5000 minus 1250 times 3.14 all over 4 and if we simplify everything that is going to be approximately equal to 268.25 square units so thus here is the area of this green shaded region in terms of pi and in terms of decimals thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye